the setting for this archdiocese in the United States. And as a brother, a respected hierarchy, and the shepherd of this archdiocese. My brother priests, presbyteres, the reverend fathers who have come here, the ladies and gentlemen, the albums of the Ecumenical Patriarch and the Mother Church, we were rejoicing today of your presence, not simply because you are the shepherd of this archdiocese, but for what you are and who you are. You have created a great deal of dialogue in these communities throughout the United States and the world. And I pray to God that we will continue under your leadership and your guidance with the help of the Panagia, whose name, second name, we're here today to keep you always safe, always healthy, and always visionary as you have been so far. Please permit me now to ask the dean of this uh, church here, the Christianos, Father Dean, to come forward and to address you and give the greetings of his God here in this community. Thank you. <coughs> Your Eminence, we want you to feel like this is your home. If you ever feel like you need to get away, <laughs> <laughs> if you ever feel like you need a break, <laughs> think of Seattle. <laughs> you don't even have to call us, just come, we would love to have you. And Deacon, the same is true for you. As well. You know, I think surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. I, would love, I love those kind of surprises. Please, please, really, we want you to feel, we love you, we care for you, we want you to feel like this is your home. So please, anytime. So today, we are celebrating, we are beginning today's celebration of 100 years for St. Demetrius. And to my brothers and sisters in Christ from St. Demetrius, I want to thank you. Because you have honored us, you have honored your sister church. Your Eminence, I don't know if you're aware of St. Demetrius and the Assumption. We're only three or four miles apart. We're not that far apart. And so, thank you for honoring us by inviting us to this special place today with His Eminence as part of your celebration of 100 years. So, we as a community of the Assumption, thank you for honoring us with you, Your Eminence, and to participate in this 100-year celebration with you. You know, as we share St. Demetrius and, and our parishes, we're close in proximity, but we're also, we also share ministry. We have a great camp ministry we share together. We celebrate pre-sanctified liturgies together during, during Great Lent. With my friend Nico over there, the Y out in Seattle has been revived, and both parishes, and all parishes are participating. And so this is just another example of that um, goodwill that we have between the communities here. So thank you again for being here. I'd like to invite at this time a uh, gentleman, if you'd be so kind as to come out, please. We have a few little gifts for you here. The boys wrote a little speech for you. Thank you. 
Your Eminent, Archbishop of Vila Flores, on behalf of the children and stewards of reception, we want to welcome you to Seattle to our beautiful parish. It, it is an honor and blessing to have you here with us today. We would like to present you with a very small token of our love and appreciation, a basket full of items made here in Washington. Oh,
while the most brilliant graduates of our theological school who join us to the hospital. So our future is bright. The elements, beloved brother in Christ, the Prophetical San Francisco, Erasmus, your grace, Bishop Ioannis, Reverend Fathers of the Holy Metropolis of San Francisco, beloved sisters and brothers in the world. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Indeed, what a joy it is for me personally to be here in Seattle with the vibrant Greek Orthodox communities of the American Northwest. Friends, you should be very proud of these parishes. Parishes that are clearly cooperating with one another so as to bring everyone together, together for the centennial celebration of the Church of St. Demetrius here in Seattle. It is sure and certain sign of love, which is the most fundamental value of our Orthodox Christian faith. Without love, my sisters and brothers, we are, as the Apostle says, merely a clatter of blank metal, or at best, a sounding symbol. But I hear the sounds of harmonious joy, as the other song says, which Symbols of jubilation. I am so glad to witness the hospitality of this Assumption Parish. And I know that we are being hosted here afterward by the others of the Dominican media. But I want to be sure to greet everyone here today, whether they remain or not. For you are all the precious people of God. And you give me such gladness for heart to be among you. We glorify God together during this doxology. That's the meaning of doxology. Doxology, we glorify God, which heals and praises because his mercy endures forever. Even in these uncertain times, when we see disorder in our world, we see war and threats of war, violence and threats of violence, we, who bear the name of the Christ, still give praise and glory to God. Because we know that in His providential love for every human being and for the world that He Himself created, God will provide the solutions to our every dilemma and uncertainty. Our praise and glorification of God is not in spite of the world's problems, but it is an affirmation that there is something, or rather there is someone greater than the world's most extreme problems. The problems of climate change, the problems of war, problems of greed and of injustice everywhere in the world. The evangelist John writes in his first epistle of how we are to confront the challenges of life. He said the following, You are of God, little children, he says, at the end. And you have vanquished them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. So, miso by the mis, by the mi, i by the cosmos, as the original. So, therefore, my beloved Christians, let us truly rejoice in this day that the world has made and be glad of it. During this weekend, when we celebrate the dual celebrations of the centennial of the parish of St. Demetrius, together with the centennial of our sacred archdiocese, as the leading hierarchy of the ecumenical throne abroad, let us together treasure this fellowship and this time together that God has granted us all. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the law of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Always be with you, so that the sessions of our heart here, and the great martyr and dear birth be yours. Amen. Thank you. And because we need to honor the servants of God who really offer their whole life, their family time, their, uh, their old youth, from the youth to the church, first with the permission of his enemies, the shepherd of this holy metropolis of the Archdiocese of America. I want to honor with the cross of Hagia Sophia of Constantinople, Father D. Father D. Axios. It's 
celebrate this centennial anniversary with all my love, with all my thanks and gratitude for what you are doing for the speech of Paris. God bless you. Uh, I hear that the president of Philosophers is also here. We should never forget Philosophers. Philosophers is the backbone of the Archdiocese, the ladies. Without the ladies, what group the Archdiocese be? Axia. <laughs> Axia. Thank you, Professor. Now, everybody is holding you. Thank you. And I want the other boys to come here forward. I have a blessing for you, a special gift that we created again for the centennial, only for this year. So this is a precious gift. This the little one first, Yes, Lord, 